Well, all right, all right, all right. I am at Universal Studios, but I'm not going into Universal this morning right off the bat. I might go a little bit later, but I'm actually heading over to the Hard Rock, and I am going to go to what most people say is probably the best breakfast buffet at the studios here or at the resort. It's, uh, it's at the Hard Rock. It's called The Kitchen, and we're going to find out. We had... Uh, all you could eat breakfast at Amatista back here a couple of months ago, and it was really good. So I'm hoping that uh, if the kitchen's better than Amatista, we'll find out real quick. But, uh, you know, I'm a carnivore, so I only eat bacon and eggs. So we'll find out what all is on this buffet, and uh, hopefully, it's, uh, hopefully it's as good as people say it is. Well, I tell you, it's kind of hard to walk by the entrance here, but uh, let's, go, uh, let's go check out the Hard Rock. Uh, so this is probably one of the best walkways on property here. I love, uh, I love this little walk here. It's actually uh, really, uh, really pretty. It's kind of relaxing when you get back in here. So uh, let's enjoy this. And you can actually see the Hard Rock Hotel from right here. I tell you, I think they've, uh, they've been doing some landscaping in here. This looks really pretty right here. I don't. Uh, I don't remember it looking as pretty as it is right now. I like the way they have done this. It's really nice. Well, look at this view right here. This is really pretty right here. Looking back at Rip Rocket in the entrance, the archway. Landscaping in here is just immaculate. Everybody heading into the studios this morning or heading over to the parks. Really pretty in here. Let me go over and check these flowers out over here. They look really nice. Yeah, this is all freshly landscaped. This is uh, just really pretty in here right now. Beautiful time to be in here. Looks like they, uh, another little walkway over there around viewing area but it's really pretty in here. All right, so you can walk around this way here or you can cut through the butterfly pavilion here, a little butterfly garden they have here. Don't think we'll see any butterflies this morning, but there's always that possibility. And like I said, they've uh, freshly landscaped this in here. Looks really nice. Got their winter winter what kind of winter you have here flowers out but it's uh this is actually probably the best i've seen this looks really pretty in here right now you got your little garden out here where you can walk your dog they do uh they do accept pets Here's the hard rock. Let's go on over to the entrance. Uh, so here's your water taxi. Most people just walk over. Uh, it's not that long of a walk. It's only like five minutes to walk over. But a lot of people will take the, uh, save your legs. Save your legs as much as you can if you're gonna be here all day long. But this is one of the other entrances here. You have this nice little area out here with astral turf kids can get uh, some energy out here if you're not at one of the pools but here's another look at the resort so let's go over here to the front over here Let's see what they have over here. I guess this is the uh, pumpkin contest here. Pumpkin number one, pumpkin number two. I like that knife, Annie. Pumpkin three, pumpkin four. Ah, looks like you got 
Elliot here from uh, ET. We got the ghost pumpkins. Oh, lots of ghost pumpkins. That's pretty cool. Let me check this one out. Got the lights in it. Oh, wow. That's it right here. That's the winner. That's the winner for me. Number nine. No. Oh. Number 10 is pretty cool too here. It's got Chucky and he's playing the drums. That's pretty cool. But yeah, here's all your choices. You got Elliot. That's pretty cool. I love the Stranger Things. Love that one. I like this one here also. That's pretty cool. But they're all pretty cool. They put a lot of work into these. So uh, hats off to all of the uh, Witches Brew. Oh, that's pretty cool but let's uh here's the uh, here's the main lobby you should check in over here when you come in the door it will be on the right and then the palms restaurant and velvet is down there the velvet bar the kitchen is actually downstairs you got the rock shop over here we'll go check it out and then your uh, concierge will be here Let's check out the rock shop real quick. Right. I like the new sweatshirts for this year. That's pretty cool. I like this sweat. I like this shirt. Yeah. Got the Volkswagen van on it. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty I like the hats. Now they have a lot of merchandise in here as far as just for the hard rock itself. So you can get a lot of different stuff in here. Really, really, really nice looking shop here. I like the bucket hats too. The bucket hats look really good. All right, so uh, let's go check out the restaurant. The reason we came over here but a lot of uh, a lot of posters and photographs of artists through the ages and through the years. All right, so uh, the kitchen is actually downstairs. So let's go downstairs and see if we can check out this buffet. Love the saxophone here, chandelier, really pretty. Really, really, really nice resort. I love staying here for uh, Halloween Horror Nights. Probably, uh, probably the best resort for Halloween Horror Nights. Right, so the kitchen resort is outside here. So let's get this buffet on. Right, so you have your choice. You can either sit inside or outside here. And outside, you actually got a little view of the pool here. Looks pretty relaxing this morning. We came over this summer, pool hopped over. Had a good time at this pool. Always, always enjoy this pool. Pretty rocking, pretty rocking the middle of the day. All right, so here's the kitchen. Let's check it out. All right, so what we're going to have here, we're going to have the choice of some oatmeal, hot sticky buns, grits. I love how the, they've got this decorated. This is a really nice way they've got this decorated up. We've got some gravy over here and some biscuits. Scrambled eggs, pancakes, French toast. Some fruit, compote, got some strawberries, cream there. Love the way they just got this decorated. Breakfast potatoes, there it is, there's the bacon. Got some sausage, corned beef hash here. They'll probably have an uh, omelet station, we'll get us a good omelet. We'll have your breakfast cereals, some fresh bananas, looks like some fresh fruit on the other side, and then you have your pastries. You gotta have those pastries. 
got to get that sugar in you. Get you all jacked up on some sugar. Got some oatmeal. It looks like you got some yogurt. You got your fresh cut fruits. All look pretty good. So let's uh, we'll try this out and see how this is. All right, so this is display only, but you can get your Elvis Prince toast right here. Bananas, peanut butter, and caramel sauce. Yeah. Got you another uh, little pancake there. Some blueberry pancakes. Got some different breads here. Got this nice brick fired oven back here. Love this bar. Look the oven here. Look at this bar here. Pretty good. Pretty good looking bar. A lot of different uh, memorabilia around. Bastards and rocks. Really, really, really nice restaurant. I Nobody in here right now. As you can clearly see. So here's my omelet, and then there's there's the majority of what I'm going to eat. I got some corned beef hash just to try it out, see how it tastes. Won't, won't do a lot of it, uh, but some sausage and some bacon. But this omelet here, I got sausage, bacon, and ham on it with cheddar cheese. So the omelet looks really good. So they'll cook the omelet to order. Get all, uh, get all your different stuff on it. Mushrooms, onions, tomato. Looks really good. Uh, so I'll break my carnivore lifestyle occasionally. Majority of the time I don't. I went up and got me a couple of eggs over easy. But I just had to try Elvis's French toast out here. It's got, the, got a strawberry, banana, caramel, and peanut butter on there. So um, I got to try this out. I'm sorry, guys. I got to try it out. All right, so I guess I'm going to have to try this out. But look at this. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's been hard to stay on carnivore and eat out and do that type of, uh, type of thing. But uh, I actually uh, enjoy the carnivore lifestyle. I enjoy it. I've enjoyed all the benefits of it. But uh, I do miss some of the sweets. So uh, I guess I ain't gonna lie about that, but uh, you know, if I try something out, don't get mad at me here. Uh, but I'm gonna try this and see how this is. I'm gonna cut it in half and try it right in the center of it, and so I can get the full taste of it. All right, so uh, everybody going in there and getting their Starbucks on this morning, but I'm gonna go back upstairs, go out on the balcony, and I'll give you my food review and what I honestly think here. So I uh, just love this balcony. I love this stairwell. Beautiful. Be a uh, California, Hollywood, rock star type of house here. Just beautiful. Uh, beautiful view of the pool from up here. Love the slide, but this is not my favorite pool. I'll have to do that video at some point in time. But this is not, this is not it. Here at the uh, resorts here at Universal. All right, so it's time to review this. Uh, so the kitchen is probably rated the best buffet breakfast here at Universal Resorts. So it's at the Hard Rock as you know, but uh, as far as the best breakfast we've had here, or I've had here, I'm still going to go have to go with Amatista. Amatista had far more on the buffet. They had some smoked salmon, some different cheeses, and uh, different meats. So me being a carnivore, I kind of fit right in uh, with my diet and lifestyle. Uh, Elvis's French toast. Uh, we knew Elvis was eccentric. That definitely was not uh, 
not very tasty. I did try it out. Uh, I just uh, I cut into it, cut it in half, uh, so I'd get the full flavor of the peanut butter, the caramel, the banana, cut a little piece of the strawberry, had some of that. Uh, it was not, uh, it wasn't worth coming off the diet for. So, but anyway, the uh, atmosphere of the kitchen is better than the atmosphere at Amatista. I will give it the atmosphere if I had my choices of where I would probably eat at uh, again. I'm gonna have to give it to the kitchen. Uh, even though they had more at Amatista, just the atmosphere of here at the Hard Rock, listening to the music, going from Pearl Jam to ABBA to Lady Gaga, then back to, uh, I think it was uh, uh, Meatloaf. Oh my gosh, just, I could sit in there all day long and just listen to the music that was playing in there and uh, enjoy it. Uh, really, really good atmosphere. I love the way they had the, the stuff set up. Uh, even though I do think they had more of a more uh, more on the menu at uh, Amatista, so uh, but now I'm gonna head over to the studios and uh, see if I can meet Marilyn today. See if uh, meet Marilyn or uh, see who I can meet. I didn't get to meet Shaggy and them last week, so I'm gonna see if I can get them in today. Let's head over to studios. Jimmy Mackey, Jimmy Mack, you mind if I get my picture with Marilyn this morning? I insist upon it. Right? You insist upon it? Marilyn, it's so good to see you, Marilyn. Oh, it's so good to see you, darling. Got to see you last week, too. How was that film set go last week? Oh, pretty well. Pretty good? Pretty good. All right. I bet you did a beautiful job acting. Thank you, sweetheart. Always did a great job. Thank you, nice to see you this morning. Love you, too. Wow, Marilyn right off the bat this morning. Always a good time. Always a good time. Beautiful, beautiful lady. Thank you. Wow, looky here. I finally get to see the whole gang this morning. I got everybody. There's, I've never got to see Scooby. 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 Gosh, a body. All right, so I see one of my favorite ladies down here. Betty Boop is down here, so I'm going to go down here and get my picture with Betty Boop and talk to Betty for a little bit. She's looking very pretty this morning. She comes out and Marilyn goes in, but look at you. Wow, good morning. Good morning, Betty. How are you today? Oh, I'm swell. How are you? I am doing really good. I'm doing really good. You ready for a good day? I'm going to have a great day. I, I always have to always, see me, but I, what else you doing well, today? Well, I actually just came to see you. Oh, my, oh, my. Really? Yeah, really, oh, really. I'm so yeah, it makes really. sense because I'm so famous. Well, you are famous. Famous and beautiful. Oh, thanks. Come back. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. And it was Major there with her. Betty Boot Major, wow. All right, well what a great morning in Universal Studios. Got to meet the gang, got to meet Marilyn, got to meet Betty Boop. Had a great breakfast at the kitchen. Wow, what a great day. But anyway, hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side. Stay frosty and Universal's calling your name.